This is low density polyethylene. They're essentially plastic bags, scrap, some of which has come all the way from the US. Take a look at this. It's a bag with the logo of Walmart on it. And I'm gonna show you how a factory here in Malaysia takes this scrap, recycles it, and then sells it for reuse. The plastic scrap is put through this machine and it's called the crusher. The plastic gets ripped up into little strips and then put through the float wash, which cleans it of impurities. All of these machines clean impurities, possible metal, uh, paper pulp out of the plastic. It's then piped over and then come take a look at this. This is called the cyclone. And from here, the plastic gets scooped in there for more processing. This may look like a giant tube of toothpaste, but it's actually the plastic heated up to a temperature of more than 216 degrees Celsius. It gets pushed through a grater and comes out here in pellet form. And here's the final product. These gray pellets, plastic that can be used to make more plastic bags, the soles of your tennis shoes, children's plastic toys, or be used in compounds to make other materials. A ton of that stuff can be sold for the equivalent of around 850 US dollars, at a profit of more than $100. So the factory owner here says, what may look to many of us like garbage, instead to him, looks like money. Ivan Watson, CNN, Klang, Malaysia.